It's SEC opening weekend. What a great time of the year for college baseball in the premier conference in the country. And it's a gorgeous Sunday afternoon in Northwest Arkansas in Baumwalker Stadium. The Kentucky Wildcats and Arkansas Razorbacks finish off a three-game three. series. It's Jackson Wiggins. Well, we all know that Jackson Wiggins has got a really big arm. The changeup's always been there, but the, the slider or the, uh, the cutter it was really the strangest adding of the year for Wiggins. He'll get the wave and miss here. And Ritter down on strikes to begin the yield <laughs> behind the play. That's a rip and a miss. Jump will K on a 94 mile an hour fastball, and we are off and rolling today. Let's have these two pitchers, Wiggins and Bosma. There's Thrasher poking one into right for a base hit. Thrasher started this series in that nine hole for Kentucky, getting three base hits, went 0 for 3 yesterday. And the 1 2 pitch, a strike three called. He stepped down looking. Wiggins able to work that inside corner on a couple of pitches, especially third game of a series. That one is lined in a right for a base hit. Lanzilli was playing deep. Thrasher with good speed and two outs will cruise to third, and there's Wildcats on the corner it's with two outs. A couple off speed pitches here early in the count. Lifted to left, and Gregory has a long run to get there, and he'll make the catch. So the Wildcats put a couple of runners on base. They do not score. Flag. And there's a liner in the center for a base hit. So battles the first base runner, first hit for the Hogs to begin the third inning. Arkansas, but also for Borfin. That ball hit well. Left center field. This ball's got a chance, and it's gone in the hog pen. How about Braden Webb? That's three homers in this last week and back-to-back -back games. And the Hawks with the long ball again, strike first. I think he's found that stroke, Troy. Yeah, really good job by Webb. And you can tell he's really starting to dial in those at-bats. Much better takes when balls are out of the zone. And Into the win. Here's that Gregory. We mentioned every time Gregory bats, the count's three and two. Well, this time he was plunked by a pitch, and he's excited as he well. chopper up the middle. And there is Ritter near the bag. Nice play to retire Stovall for the second out if that gets through. Walk Turner. Now he gets to face the right-handed hitter with runners on the corners. There he goes. Here it comes. Right to second to Harris. He'll gobble it up. And throw out Lanzilli, so the Razorbacks will strand a couple of runners, but they get a pair on the home run from Webb. Yeah, do that. <laughs> and that's sprayed fair inside the bag at third by Lieberts. Gregory will cut it off, and Liebert will try for two. Here's the throw. It's elevated, and Moore able to jump up and grab it. That's a double. Harris spent four seasons at Eastern Kentucky. He'll go down on strikes. That is the fifth K for Jackson Wiggins. And the one two, that's a strike. Jackson Wiggins gets the K of Thrasher, and he's going to strand a couple of Wildcats. Dugout. Here's a payoff, and that is low. So he saw a lot of pitches from Williams and walks to begin the fourth inning. Brady would really love to unload. That pitch is outside. Moore's going to run. The throw ends up in center. And Moore will continue to third base. Stolen base and a throwing error, and that walk is turned into three bases quickly. Jalen Singleton scored in the first. He's going to square again. Gets the bunt down. Moore's going to try and score the win. Plastiak couldn't handle it. He was in a hurry to field and flip. Battles gets the run home, and it's 3 0 Razor. Yeah, I think he does. Great back control by Battles. I think the bare hand is the only opportunity. If you try to get that runner at the plate, you see a really good break by Moore. That was going to be a tough play. Yeah, I don't think way. he was going to get it. Michael Turner. Off his fist. This will drop out in the left center field. Battle's got a good read. He'll take off to third. Webb's going to try to go to second base, and he is going to be out. Really tools up here in Ritter and Wiggins. Ritter runs extremely well. Wallace goes with a bare hand, not in time. Coach Mingione told us about the time. That'll help. Wave to miss. Another K for Jackson Wiggins. 2-2 pitch is another strikeout. That is now eight for Wiggins. Fastballs this weekend. Hit in the air down the line and right. And Lanzilli will track it down in front of the bullpen. If that ball gets to the wall, it may have scored a pair. Hurts my hips. 
<laughs> Stovall will walk. See, he was crossed <laughs> up on that opportunity. Soft line drive, headed to the left, base it by Turner. That's what he does as well as anybody, that professional approach. 24th hit of the year for Turner. He's driven in six in this series. Drives one in the air, deep right into the wind. And on a normal day, Troy, that may have scored three. Yeah, really good swing by Robert, but that 40 mile an hour in stream. Hard hit. Battle somehow comes up with it. Slings one to first, pick by Stovall. Good effort on both ends. I'm not sure if Battles doesn't field that ball behind him. It was hit so hard. Evan Taylor to come on out of the bullpen after six scoreless innings of a start for Jackson Wiggins. Yeah, really nice start for Jackson Wiggins. He's got to get some life. Hit in the air to left. Gregory back nearing the fence. That's going to go, and it's in the hog pen and gone. Ryan Ritter homers against Evan Taylor. So one swing has put the Cats on the board and tightened up this game. You need a spark if you're Kentucky, and that just might do it right there. Closer to first base. Ball's hit into the wind, deep to right. Lanzilli back. Does he have room? The wind taketh, and it giveth. Each team now probably feels like on a normal day they'd have a home run. but Big chopper over the head of Wallace. Pass battles. That's a base hit by Plastiak, his second of the game. He's going to try for two, and he's going to make it easily. And the Cats not quite done yet here in love to win this inning. And he gets the wave of the miss. That's a tough matchup for Jump. Taking a couple steps in, trying to take away a line drive. That one poked in the left for a base hit. Zach doing Zach Gregory type things. Poking one to left to get on base to begin the here. seventh inning. Get back to the dugout. Slavin's hit into one. There's a throw that's on the money, but it kicks, and it propels in the shot on right field. Gregory's going to pop up. He's going to take off for third base, and he's in with the dive, and he's safe again, and the ball's up against the railing of the dugout. Zach probably happy he didn't have to keep on running. Harney, Michael Turner, will be issued the free pass. They'll just go ahead and put him aboard. Hasn't seen a fastball yet. Did there, and it's up and out. The bases are loaded the plate and a pop-up. Harney wants this himself. Hey, pitchers can catch pop-ups. Razorbacks strand three. Wildcats very much in this game. Brady Tiger becomes the third pitcher used by the Hawks. Tiger's had some really good innings in his last outings. And kind of that three-quarters arm slot. Drilled, slicing away from wet Webb. Braden running back into the gap, and there's where that speed paid dividends. I talked a lot this year about maybe not a number of really testing type plays. That was one of those that maybe was longer pause from Tiger before the pitch. Hit in the air, left center. Gregory there, sunglasses on, catch made, inning over. Cats leave their 10th runner of the game. Webb rolls one toward short. Ritter's going to have to throw it here, and he does. So there's your answer. He can sling it when he has to. And the Hogs go quietly and in order in the eighth. We go to the ninth. Cats need two to tie. Nine, one, and two. Better ninth inning. That's in the air to center. Webb gliding over. That one's up there a long time, but there's one out. And a wave and a miss. Ritter down on strikes. Two gone ninth inning. Hard hit up the middle, base hit, and Plastiak will indeed bat, representing the tying run. First baseman, and Tiger's pitch. In the air to left, Gregory drifting back. He's there, he's got it, ball game over, and the Razorbacks sweep the Kentucky Wildcats with a well-played 3-1 win on a Sunday afternoon. I think it all started in each game in this series was quality starting pitching for Arkansas. They were able to take advantage of some miscues, some errors and walks by Kentucky pitching. Just a solid game for Arkansas. Kentucky's going to win a lot of games this season. They've got a lot of talent. They just didn't put it together this weekend.